Hey Wine Fanatics, Stephen here for the Napa Valley Wine Academy content team with my update on what is new in membership. First up, we have a fantastic masterclass that we filmed at headquarters uh, about a week ago. It's all about Coombsville. So we invited some people who you know work at wineries in Coombsville to come and discuss you know their wines and the region. And so you really get a really deep understanding of Coombsville as a result. So it's a good 90 minutes, two hours long. Um, it's a panel of experts from, uh, you know, one who's like Farniente and, and others, and it's fantastic. Like I think everyone would learn something about this because uh, Coombsville doesn't get the same you know, accolades as a lot of other appellations within Napa, but it's truly, they produce excellent wine. So really worth checking out. To supplement that, well, we've um, brought back some of my old favorite videos about Napa to accompany that. Now, I've kept in our new section here our burgundy stuff due to popular demand. People are loving it, so I'll keep that up for a little bit longer. But we have this fantastic uh, masterclass on Napa Valley, which Diane Wu did uh, last year. We also have Napa versus Sonoma, which Peter Marks MW put together. And then we have a Discovering Napa, which is more of a an intro level introduction to Napa. So it's a fun one as well. Otherwise, we have some new cocktails, well, part of our mixology series. We are up to week 38 and 39. So only three months, 12 weeks or so to go till we get up to 52 as we promised. So this week we've got the Jungle Bird and the Paloma, two of my favorites. Uh, the Jungle Bird, came about outside of the US, um, but since about the early 2000s, it's been getting the accolade it deserves. I really like them. They're, uh, you know, they're a tiki style, but you've got the rum and then that little bit of bitterness from the Campari, I think is just delicious. So all about the jungle bird, the ingredients and so forth. And if you've been keeping up with our series, you should have all the alcoholic ingredients already. So it's an easy one to make. Otherwise we have the Paloma, which is probably the second most famous tequila cocktail uh, maybe the Tequila Sunrise is up there, but I think the Paloma is a better drink. Um, tequila Sunrise, it's a lot of grenadine. It looks pretty, but as far as taste goes, the Paloma is refreshing and delicious, and you get all those herbaceous, earthy characteristics from the tequila, which I love. And if you want to mix it up, I have had great success using Mezcal instead of tequila. So check those cocktails out. Otherwise, we have done an update on our pronunciation. So, so if you haven't seen these before, you just go to format here and click on pronunciations. And there's a new uh, page that we've created with all the different uh, pronunciation countries that we have. So we've got uh, you know, a range of different countries here. We put Germany and Austria together. Um, so really it's really nine countries there. Um, but the major ones, French, Italian, um, Spanish, um, along with German, Portuguese, Hungarian. And then we've got some English countries where people often say the words incorrectly. So, for example, with Australia, uh, people often say Geelong. They say Geelong, but having lived there, it is Geelong. Um, there's a few others like that as well. So the pronunciation is about over 1,500, maybe 1,700 or 1,800 pronunciations there. They're all from people within the wine industry that are native speakers of the language. So it's an amazing resource. If you've ever looked at a bottle and thought, I love this wine, but I have no idea how to pronounce this grape or this, this region or this particular practice, uh, we have a good chance we have the terminology here. Um, so definitely utilize that, particularly if you're a SOM or something and you want to make sure you're saying things correctly. So that's membership for the week. If you have any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, be sure to drink something delicious, a tasty wine, or perhaps a cocktail like a Paloma or a Jungle Bird. Cheers.